we've had Fortnite Chapter 6 for just a few short days now, and they've actually just added this in today's brand new update. The arrival of all brand new free rewards, and also some brand new information about Winterfest 2024, which is going to be starting very, very soon, which you definitely want to be sure you're not missing out on, as it's honestly looking to be quite sick. But first, drop a like and subscribe right now if you want this to be your Fortnite account in exactly 65 days. And well, if you don't, this will be your account. So the choice is all yours. Do with that information as you will. And if any of you guys have been picking up anything inside of the Fortnite item shop or even the brand new Chapter 6 Battle Pass, do consider using my support creator code YTORA as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. So let's not waste any more time and jump straight into today's video. So obviously, we've had Fortnite Chapter 6 already, which is actually a pretty fun season in my opinion, definitely one of the better maps we've gotten in recent years. But obviously, we do know in the next three days, we're going to be getting the return of Fortnite OG, and it's actually going to be a brand new permanent game mode, as obviously it was already revealed. And we did actually have a brand new trailer for this, where we can actually see Jonesy and also Peely, with the music from the very first trailer Fortnite ever released on their YouTube channel actually playing in the background, which is actually pretty cool to be honest and we do know that this is more or less going to be a more traditional version of Fortnite OG and not like the version we had in 2023 as all of the advanced movements that we currently have in Fortnite chapter 6 will be stripped out so you won't be able to do any tactical sprinting any mantling you're only going to be able to do the basic movement which obviously the game first started off with and all of the OG weapons are going to be making a return including the arrival of double pump for the very first time in years which honestly I am super excited excited for and we do even have brand new information as well about the brand new og pass which is actually going to be quite hefty to be honest as it's going to contain three brand new outfits obviously being a part of another brand new battle pass that are more or less going to be reimagined versions of previous skins that we actually had in fortnite chapter one with obviously starting off with a brand new version of the renegade raider the aerial assault trooper and also the school trooper outfits considering they were some of the very first outfits fortnite ever added to the game and well we do actually have some brand new secrets about this brand new OG pass, which you guys definitely want to be sure you're not missing out on. But we are here trying to do one of the daily challenges, but I honestly have so many people just not taking any damage here for some reason. We really don't have the greatest loot right now for this. I think everybody can agree that it's about time we finally have the return of hit scan weapons. It's honestly just so refreshing to be able to shoot from anywhere and more or less be able to hit any target. Okay, any moment now. And there he is. Demon Warrior now gone. And we got a Void Boom. That's going to come in handy. But already here inside of 4 and 8 Chapter 6, we already have tons of free rewards available already which is actually pretty sick from the arrival of the brand new ranked quest which this time around seems to have been made a little bit easier and actually will be done a lot quicker than the usual just surviving storm circles as you can see from the actual quest menu we can actually see right here all you need to do to actually get all of the rewards is complete 80 of these quests which you can actually complete both of these side by side including the ranked rocket league ones which do give you brand new wheels and different customization for your vehicles which is definitely pretty nice and obviously by completing the battle royale ones you do actually get that ranked backling which is actually pretty cool and by completing each and every single one of them you will actually unlock a brand new harvesting tool after completing 80 of these quests which you should be able to do pretty easy as you do kind of get these challenges done just by playing which is honestly so handy so definitely would be sure you're jumping into ranked battle royale and obviously trying to get these done or even ranked rocket racing considering you can actually get them done here too but oh my god there's one thing i didn't miss about hitscan and it's the fact that you can honestly get kind of lasered from almost anywhere on the map I'm honestly not used to the shotguns at all this chapter. I feel like they should be doing a little bit more damage. Okay, there's you. God, we have so many people shooting at us right now. But take a chill pill, bro, please. And there we go. But we do actually have brand new story quests available right now. So we do need to speak to Kendo about the invading demons. Well, let's walk up to him real quick. Nice to meet you. Understand the nature of the demons. Uh, ever since the mysterious object flew across the sky, the island has changed. Magic we used to tell stories about has awoken. The portals to the spirit realm that we always thought were dusty relics. Demons now enter our world through them. I need to understand why they're here and what they want. Will you help me? Okay, we did just level up there as well, which is definitely pretty nice. So we 
do need to damage demons. So I wonder if that is the brand new Shogun boss, which we do have the skin for right now, which is actually available in the item shop. Definitely a pretty cool skin, to be honest. But obviously here inside of this season, we do know that the secret skin for the battle pass is actually going to be the brand new Godzilla Evolved outfit, which will actually be available in January, which is definitely pretty unfortunate. I think it would have been pretty nice if we were able to unlock it just a little bit earlier. But we do have brand new information about that brand new update, which you honestly, you guys are honestly going to love with the arrival of the brand new Godzilla boss that will roam the island, which obviously we did see in the trailer. And we do know he's going to have other cosmetics as well, which are currently hidden inside of the battle pass menu. So obviously we'll get the reveal of those once the skin is available. But we do actually have a look at the brand new Godzilla back bling, which does actually seem to be something relating to a skeleton, which you can actually see right here. Definitely pretty cool. But we're also going to be seeing the arrival of Kong as well, obviously from the same movie, obviously being Godzilla x Kong. Considering this version of Godzilla actually does have pink on him, which was actually first seen in that Godzilla x Kong movie. And Kong is most likely going to be a brand new item shop cosmetic, coming alongside with his actual axe that he actually had in those movies as well. And potentially even his beast glove as well, which obviously was in that last movie, which actually does look pretty cool too. And who knows, we could even be seeing other giant monster characters making their way into the game, considering we already do have a giant tortoise on the island right now as well, which obviously we did see in the trailer too. But obviously we will have to wait and see as who knows, we could even be seeing the arrival of Mecha Godzilla. So be sure to leave your thoughts on that down in the comments. But jumping back to Fortnite OG, which we do know is releasing on December 6th with that brand new OG pass, which you guys can actually see in game right now. We're going to have quite the amount of brand new rewards to be able to get from that brand new OG pass, which you actually will be able to level up alongside your main battle royale battle pass, which is honestly pretty cool. And as I said, we're obviously getting brand new reskins of traditional Fortnite outfits that were released all the way back in Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 1. One. But my favorite definitely being the brand new Skull Commander skin. Honestly, it looks so much better than the original Skull Trooper outfit. And we do know that this skin actually does have two edit slots at the moment inside of the game files, one of them being the traditional version of Skull Trooper, alongside with the inverted version, which obviously just changes the white and the black around. But it looks like we're also going to be seeing the arrival of another edit style, coming in the form of the purple Skull Trooper, most likely in the form of brand new bonus rewards, which honestly I think is definitely going to be pretty cool, considering now tons of people are honestly pretty bummed out that they can't get the original purple skull trooper but it looks like we're actually going to be able to get a new version obviously being the purple skull commander which honestly i think is honestly going to be pretty cool but what you guys may not know is the fact that this brand new og pass is only going to be available for one month and after that one month is up we will actually be going into fortnite chapter one season two which was most likely when we'll see the arrival of tilted towers considered tilted towers wasn't in the game when it first launched which is obviously going to mean brand new reskins for the actual og pass when we do move into season two, which is most likely going to be revolving around the night skins, which we do have information about, but we do have a few people running up this way. I think they're trying to head to the loot island, which is, well, no longer a loot island anymore. This guy just here. Okay, I think we'll try head up and take down the boss up here. Oh, there he is. Man, I've taken this boss down once already, and it's literally like playing Dark Souls see what we can do here and this is counting towards our demon damage okay let's just need to keep moving this is quite possibly one of the coolest bosses for has ever added okay he's almost gone right well we are so low on health right now and there we go about time grab the medallion we got the fire mask. But obviously, when we do move into Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 2, when it does come to that brand new OG return, it's probably going to be another three outfits, as obviously it's not going to be a full battle pass, considering even then in Season 2, it wasn't a full battle pass. We only did actually have three outfits, and it only went up to Tier 70, where we did actually have the blue square, and also with female variant, alongside with the sparkle specialist outfit which I know tons of people loved. And also the Black Knight skin, which obviously was the final skin you were actually able to get inside of that season. And that's obviously going to mean all new versions of those brand new outfits, which I'm honestly super excited to see what they do look like, as obviously those skins are quite old. And Fortnite has definitely gone through some changes since then. So it's obviously going to mean a new and improved versions of them. But obviously we'll have to wait and see, as obviously we're still a little bit of time before we do get the release of that, considering it most likely will be sometime around February or potentially even March. 
As you do know, each season of Fortnite OG is only going to last a total of one month. So let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for that. What season are you most looking forward to returning to? As I think I'm most re excited to return to Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 7. As that was personally one of my favorite seasons. But without noticing, it looks like we only have three people left. It looks like they're all in front of us here. Okay. Oh god, this means it packs a punch, man. Okay, and... Easy dubs. But we do know we're getting a brand new Fortnite update very, very soon, which is obviously going to be adding in the arrival of Winterfest 2024, with most likely us seeing the return of the Winterfest cabin, which I'm honestly mostly looking forward to for this year, considering it's going to mean tons of brand new free rewards, including two brand new free skins like we do see every single year. And we already have a look at one of the very first rewards, which was actually this emo right here, which you can see was actually scrapped from last year. And honestly, I can't actually wait to unlock this, considering the music is definitely pretty catchy. But obviously, we don't really have any idea of what exactly skins we are going to be seeing. But we do know that obviously, they're going to be Christmas themed. And we should see this Fortnite Chapter 6 Island get some brand new Christmas treatment to it. With the arrival of brand new Christmas decorations and potentially even snow. Which I'm kind of surprised that the new map doesn't have a lot of snow in it. Considering normally, we do get the arrival of our brand new chapter. The map is normally covered mostly in snow. But obviously, we will have to wait and see exactly what happens with that. But be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for it. But unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. And if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you're not already, do consider using my support credit code YTRA inside of the Fortnite item shop as it greatly supports the channel. Hashtag ad. If you did enjoy, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.